Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a gen whoa. What was that? <laughs> this is going to be a general message. Take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this fits your situation, just try a different message. We're going to start with the animal spirit oracles here, and then I'm going to pull from the naked heart tarot. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, my email is in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started for Cancer. Please and thank you so much, spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, only love and light. Please and thank you so much. What have we got today for Cancer? Ooh, I'm smelling um, dough. I'm smelling dough. Somebody might be making dinner. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Uh, Gemini just had that as their first card out. Oh, and you got otter spirit. You are never alone. Listen, if you are having any kind of beef with... Uh, with love and romance right now and, and how all that is going for you, there is something so amazing. This could be the divine helping you by sending somebody very special in. Obviously, it might it's probably not going to be romance at first. It'll probably just be somebody that is like a friend, right? But friends first, lovers later type deal. And then for those of you that are in relationships, if there's any kind of like tobaccos going on between you and your person, I'm actually getting you guys like really patching things up. I see you guys um, clearing the air and I feel like it's not as bad as either of you think it is. Like you're both really nervous because this relationship is important to you guys. And I think once that, just that fact alone surfaces, it's like, you know what, I think we're both kind of ridiculous, or at least I'm a little embarrassed about stressing as much as I did because of course you love me and of course I love you and I picked you for a reason and I love you and let's just, let's just move on. This was silly. We shouldn't have let this stress us out. Next time we will, you know, dot, dot, dot. I'm really getting a dialogue that sounds a lot like that here. For others of you, though, I'm getting somebody that you care about may have been going through some things and you were just really wanting to see them succeed. You may have asked for blessings to go their way or um, all kinds of different things, you know. Um, it's absolutely happening. Oh, I'm about to cry on that note. Woo, let's um, see what this deck wants to bring to the table. 35 is an 8, 42 is a 6. Eights are abundance, sixes are harmony and balance. So yeah, there's people that you care about or someone new that's going to be very important here. Um, it just feels like all of these situations are going to be running very, very smoothly for the next, I'm actually getting a couple weeks at least. So I, that's awesome. Look at that, another six. There's a lot of harmony, there's a lot of balance. Look at this, this is reciprocal. As much as you love them, they love you. And you're both like, you're feeling, how do I put this? Um, hold on, let me take a sip of my coffee, Cancer. Okay, so, yeah, you're both just, a little embarrassed that you were so upset <laughs> you know and just not happy and come to find out nothing's actually that bad nothing's actually that uh, upsetting here I am specifically hearing that somebody is working a lot so they're just tired so if it feels like they're kind of getting distant from you it's not personal, okay? It's really not. They're just really tired because they've been picking up a lot of extra hours. That's very, very specific, probably just for one person, but I did want to get that message across. That came through very clear. Yeah, Seven of Cups in reverse. This is like whatever it was that was confusing you or didn't seem right, something that was like, um, come again? Excuse me? 
whatever it is that's got you like, I am not happy with this. I'm not okay with it. I'm not digging this. This is not the vibe I was trying to ride, okay? <laughs> but it looks like with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you're like, oh, that's what it was. See, I thought it was this, so I must have been confused. I was taking it as something else, right? So again, just clarifying in another card that it's not as bad as it might have seemed. Sevens are also obstacles. So with it in the reverse, this is overcoming the obstacle that had you guys, both of you, feeling really uncomfortable. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nobody's going to be single, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is singlehood, but it's in the reverse. Nobody's breaking up over this. You guys are going to patch this up. I need to bounce back real quick now that I finish this row to talk, um, to talk to the people that are single, Okay, some of you guys are single, and with the Six of Pentacles, I'm talking to those of you that are ready to mingle. Um, you're a little bit interested in dipping your toes in the relationship pool again and seeing what's going on. Your first couple of people that reach out to you or that you find interesting, maybe your first couple dates, you just don't really go the way you would have liked them to. But I don't see you giving up, and I do see you ending up finding somebody here. All right, so... I'll keep coming back to that situation as well, but I got to get the message out. If you got a tweak as I'm describing and stuff, go ahead and tweak. Um, but if if it's just too far off, then try a different message. I'm sure it, it's six and a half minutes in. You've already you would have already done that though. So let's get this bottom row out for Cancer, please and thank you. No major arcanas yet, so this is just little everyday stuff going on for you guys. I definitely feel like spiritually you have nothing to worry about. Um, this is something else that's going on. It's it's not necessarily like spiritual lessons or karma or anything like that, right? It's just a little something, something we got to clean up. Like, I am not happy with the dishes. They're stacked up. I got to do it so I can clear my mind because they keep looking at me. I can see them. They're looking at me. <laughs> And then you commit yourself to doing it. All right, let's see what else comes out. For cancer, please and thank you, spirit. What's this? The temperance. Yeah, you just had to give it some time. Be patient, all right? Patience is key. Sagittarius energy. The divine is helping you to find the right one. They're helping you to weigh out to, um, you know, weigh out the pros and cons and the likes and, excuse me, the likes and dislikes. This is also bringing temperament into a relationship. If, again, if you're in a relationship, this is you guys really finding a way to harmonize, synchronize, coexist in an extremely healthy way. I am getting two people that are so fucking in love. There are people around you that are probably jealous of that. There's also little ones around you because the sixes can indicate children. And because we have a couple of them out here, there could be a couple of... Um, People that are younger than you or single, right? And they are, they're looking at the relationship you have, thinking to themselves, I want something just like this. That's beautiful. That's, yes. You're doing it right, Cancer. You're absolutely doing it right. Let's see what else we get, please. And thank you. Yeah, strength. Not even a little bit surprised that that came out. So you have the strength and the courage to overcome whatever this unhappiness or not really digging it type of energy is here it's just a little uncomfortable i don't think it's fully walking on eggshells but there is some tension you know what i mean there is some tension here might not be uh thick enough for a knife but oh as soon as i said that we had the innocence of swords and it landed on the floor sideways so whatever the conversation is that you're not having Go ahead and have it because that conversation is going to clear up all the confusion. That's why the confusion card is in the reverse. It's a very simple, innocent, short talk, page of swords. This isn't like the king of swords or the queen of swords where you have to like explain something to somebody. It's just a, hey, are we like good? Because it's just been feeling a little weird. I just kind of want to check in and make sure we're all right. And they're like, oh my gosh, yes, no, I'm so sorry. I've just been busy I've been working and it maybe somebody has a hard time turning off 
or again, they're just tired because they've been picking up more hours. I was, I was getting that specifically. But yeah, they might end up lightening the load so that it's not such a burden on the relationship because nothing is worth that, right? Well, I guess your livelihood is. But even if you do lose something, you still have each other. I think you guys have a much more down-to-earth um, way of just looking at life. And that's why you don't end up losing things because you always end up overcoming whatever the little awkward moments are. That's why it's minor arcana up here. These are minor little moments that you are definitely going to conquer, like get over, move past. This is not something that's going to keep happening over and over again. Also, this is not something that's going to cause a breakup. It's just a simple talk, you know, giving it enough time to, you know, try to make sense and then having the strength and courage to ask, hey, um, are things good? Because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is also not receiving something. So maybe you're just not receiving the understanding of like, why is this happening? What is going on? Is everything okay? You know, maybe you're you're waiting for the answer and it's not really coming and it's starting to get a little bit more awkward until you're finally like, all right, listen, I got to ask you, are we good? What else do we have? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because there's your answer right there. <laughs> there's no more is this gonna work is this not gonna work uh it's in the reverse you have your answer it is absolutely gonna work. yes exactly four of wands that is like the most so this is the twin flame card talk about a positive card to get in a, a relationship reading i don't usually do relationship readings like that i don't usually do that but um yeah and then for others of you again i got to Keep going back because I do have the multiple messages here. If you're single and just waiting for the right one, you are absolutely holding yourself down, holding down the fort, starting to build quite a kingdom, I gotta say. I gotta say. I'm very impressed here with what I'm feeling, what the divine is like showing me. This is very impressive. You should absolutely be proud of where you are today. Also, like I said, you are going to meet somebody. It's why it's a page. It's brand new. Page of Swords. Someone's interested in talking and I'm not get. oops, sorry, I bumped the stand. Um, I'm not getting a lot of wishy-washy behavior with this person. I'm actually getting very um, upfront. What you see is what you get type of thing. Um, they're very straightforward with you and getting to know you. I'm also getting a very respectful um, situation where they want to court you. They want to date you. And... They're so romantic. They're so real. It's a breath of fresh air is what I want to say here. Also, they're going to be appropriate. So the first date is going to be first date appropriate conversation. The second date, second date appropriate conversation. The third and fourth dates you you might get a little bit more into. So tell me a little more like do you have children and like the the deeper questions and stuff because you already have a base idea what each other's likes and, and dislikes are. So, um, yeah, for those of you guys that are waiting here for someone to come in and you're really coming in strong, I am getting a possible twin flame soulmate connection for you as well. This would be in your blueprints, in your Akashic records. Some of you guys might even find somebody that reads birth charts, um, and they might be able to tell you, um, what your birth chart says, because your birth chart, <laughs> why can't I say it? Your birth chart can tell you when you meet somebody, what sign they are, how that relationship goes, how it ends, or, you know, how it progresses, all of it. It's actually really cool. I do not do that. Um, but I, I do know that there are people out there that do. Make sure they're credible, though, because some of them just want your birth chart because they can do nasty things with it. Like, They'll see your blessings and try to, like, swap energies with you. It, that's a whole lot of, I don't even know what to call it. That, that's a whole lot of stuff that you shouldn't do. But there are some people that find out how to do it and actually do it. It's like that mirror magic or whatever it's called. But I don't see that here. So I'm super excited for you guys. 
I do have Sagittarius and Leo energy. So this is the, those are the only majors that came out. So I'm going to leave it here. I do hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. And I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.